Hi, welcome to the uh, shifters uh, as uh, uh, one of those uh, data paths that we will study in this uh, chapter. And the shifters are hardware components which are in charge of performing logical shift, arithmetic shift, and rotate. And these operations, what they do, they move the bits inside the data uh, from one position to the other. So take, for example, the logical shift here. This is the data. We're trying to, to shift it to, to the right by one bit. So we, 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 we shift them and you can see that this bit will be shifted out and those three bits right here, they come right here. And we will have an empty spot here. Uh, and this is uh, uh, the question, how do we fill this empty spot, which was created by the fact of shifting of one position? Uh, and, and we fill it in the logical shift with a zero, and the arithmetic shift, we fill it with the value of the sign bit. So the sign bit is one, we fill it with a one. Now, take a look here at the left shift here, where we left thing, uh, shift things to this direction, okay? And, and and basically what we do here is that we take these three uh, these bits uh, and, and position them here and this bit will be shifted out and this created a new position here where we fit it with a zero and we will see that in terms of left shift the logical shift and arithmetic shift are of the same value because we don't have a side bit on the right uh, most significant bit and therefore the left shift arithmetic and logic are the same in terms of rotating the data is being rotated around the uh, uh, shift so we we don't have a bit which is shifted out so when we rotate like so this bit comes and sits right here and so you see this is the the new value of the shifter similarly here when we shift uh, when we rotate to the left okay so this bit comes and sits here and then you can see that i have 0111 and which bit i have right here okay so this is a quick review of the logical shift arithmetic shift and rotate shift which we used to do them in programming languages and now we will have we'll take a look at the hardware which create those those operations okay now Uh, kind of stuck a little bit here okay now right uh, in terms of uh, uh, the the shifters uh, uh, and their implementation in hardware there are two ways to implement them there is the funnel shifter and the barrel shifter the funnel shifter uh, 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 creates a, uh, a intermediate prepared data of the width of two to the n and we select this the output from this two to the end prepared data okay the barrel shifter there is no data prepared and and there is a wrap around wires and in, in uh, for rotations for the barrel shifter we will see the, the the differences between these two architecture when we get to the example but the funnel shifter fundamentally prepares the data before selecting the output now in terms of uh, implementation the how many level of multiplexer because shifters have multiplexers all over the place if you do the multiplexing in one level it's called a ray shifter if you do it in multi levels it is called arithmetic shifter and therefore you can see the flavors where you have array funnel shifter or array barrel shifter or a logarithmic funnel shifter or logarithmic barrel shifter which gives you all these flavors uh, of uh, shifter implementation okay now so array shifters, as we said, is that it involves in uh, having a one level of uh, uh, multiplexer, and we will see this, but logarithmic uh, uh, kind of uh, use the uh, bits for, uh, uh, or, 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 or it involves levels, uh, multiple levels of multiplexing, as we will see in the example uh, very shortly. Okay. One thing here um, we need to, to, to address is that we have left operations and we have uh, right operations, okay? So uh, when we create a hardware for which we perform shifting, do we need this hardware to do left, both left and right uh, uh, rotation and, and shifting? And the answer is that uh, really you don't. Uh, if you implement a shifter, which performs right rotation and right shifting, you can implement the, le the, the left 
uh, operations using the right operations. Well, how is that? Well, people notice that if you are doing k bits of rotation for the left operation, this is equivalent to n minus k for the uh, uh, for the right operation. So if you do a k bits of left operations, this is e equivalent to uh, n minus k for the uh, uh, for the right uh, uh, operations. Okay, so this is left, and this is this is the equivalent is the right operation, n minus k. And since when we know that when we rotate things using n, n uh, in rotation uh, cancels out because if you rotate things uh, n times, basically you return them to their original position. So we can exclude that, okay? And we say that it is uh, 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 we we just need the minus k, which is the the inversion of the k bits uh, plus one. Okay, and let's take an example on the whiteboard here, and 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 with that we will we will. We will uh, 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 we will we'll clarify what we want. Okay, so now um, let's assume, for instance, um, I have this data one zero zero one. Okay, so now this is this is the data that I have. This is a the input data. Now, how many bits I have here? Uh, n equals four. And now I have the k variable of two bits that tells me the shifting amount. I can shift by 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now suppose, for instance, I need to do a left, left rotate, right, uh, of k equals 0, 1, meaning I need to rotate one position. So 1, 0, 0, 1, I need to do left rotation. Okay, so this one will come all the way. Let's use another color here. This one will come all the way up to here. So the data, the, resu the result data will be 0, 0, 1, 1. Now let's see if we can achieve this in the right rotation. So, so let's go to the right rotation here. Uh, uh, we say that this is equivalent to uh, right rotation, right rotation, uh, of uh, k prime plus one. So let's take the k. What, this is uh, what's what's the value of the k? This is the value. The k prime equals what? It is equal to uh, uh, one zero plus one, which is one. Okay, and this gives me one one. In fact, the k prime plus one it is the two's complement. Uh, it is the two's complement of 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 the k. Okay, that's basically what we are getting. So let's try to do a right operation on this data. So this data here comes in and says, okay, uh, one, zero, zero, one. Okay, this is my data. Let's rotate it uh, three uh, to the right. Okay, so this is, so this, now this bit comes in here. This bit comes in all the way here. And this bit rotates all the way here. Okay, one, one. And these bits rotate all the way here. Okay, so this is a right rotation of k equals 3, which is equivalent to the left O rotation of k equals 1. So once I, t once I do the k, uh, so I can, I can change, uh, uh, or, 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 or uh, let's say the conclusion is, I can implement a shifter in one direction, right direction, and I can implement the left rotation using the prime of the k, or the two's complement of the k, okay? Right. So whatever left operation, I can implement it using right operation. Instead of the k for the left, I can just take the two's complement, which is the version of the, of the k bits plus one. Okay, so let's go back to the lecture here. Okay, so, uh, so that's basically what we have. And um, we will start uh, on the funnel shifter. The funnel shifter basically, uh, which is one of the architects, uh, architecture of the shifter, it it depends on creating an intermediate layer. So the very first step is that we create this uh, uh, layer, which we call is the Z layer. And this Z layer consists of two to the N minus one bits. Okay. And then, and then we select in bits of this window, we select in bits of those two to the N bits, and those in bits are my output. My output y. Well, okay. So how do I create the z bit here? Well, uh, uh, my input is a. So this is a, which is in bits, right? Uh, and and what I do from this a, I create this 
intermediate layer. And then from this intermediate layer, I select a window of in bits, and this becomes my output. Okay, again, the steps of the funnel shifter. From A, you create Z, and from Z, you select a window of in bits to create Y. Okay, so let's take more specific example. Here, uh, uh, you can see uh, the, the, these are how we create this intermediate layer, which is Z. So let's let's take this here, and I'm gonna use the the whiteboard here and give examples of what we what we mean. Now suppose, for instance, okay, I would like to uh, uh, see here. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the lecture here and say, see if I could copy this. Okay. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Okay, that didn't work out well. Okay, so, um, all right, so, <clears throat> okay, let's, uh, let me, just to stop this for a sec. Okay, so here I can, I can uh, use the, the whiteboard with uh, the, uh, uh, the intermediate layer, and he shows me in the table here the operation, okay, oops, uh, see, let's go back here, the, the, the operation, each operation, rotate right, uh, rotate uh, logical right, arithmetic shift right, rotate left, uh, and logical and arithmetic. And then he shows me here how do I compose the Z layer. Okay, so let's assume, for, for example, I want to do a rotate right. Okay, so let's say I have uh, my input data here is A. All right, so my input data is uh, here A uh, and consists of uh, A3, A1, uh, A, uh, I'm sorry, A2, A1, and A0. Okay, now suppose I want to do a rotate right. So now he shows me what to do in terms of creating this intermediate layer. In my example here, in equals four. So this is the size of, of, of the data. Uh, that, I, that, I, that I'm shifting, that, that I have four bits. Now, how do I create the, the Z? So the Z layer is consists of seven bits, two to the N minus one. Okay, so I have bit zero, bit one, bit two, bit three, bit four, bit five, and bit six, and bit seven. Okay, and, and he tells me here from bit... Uh, uh, 0 to 2 to, to n here, okay, I have uh, a to uh, 0 uh, 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 n minus 2. So basically, uh, this in my example corresponds to a 0, a 1, and a 2, okay, because n, uh, n is 4 here, okay. And then at z n minus 3, which is z 3 here, I will I will uh, add in a, a n minus one, which is a bit three of a, and then I will use uh, here uh, a zero, and I will fill it with a zero, uh, a one, a two, and by the way, this seven is an extra. I should have stopped because it's seven bit. The z layer is seven bit because it is the z layer size is what is two to the n. I'm sorry, two, I'm sorry, two times n minus one. In my example, n is four, so four plus two, eight, and this is seven bits. So from zero to six, seven bits. Now I will use this k to select the window. So suppose now I want to do a shift of k equals zero. The k, it tells me the distance that I will move from the starting point here and select. So I have this moving window here of four bits. When k equals zero, it says select those four ones. This is for k equals zero. Okay, what happened when k equals when k equals one? When k equals one, then I will move the window here to choose the next four bits, which is right here. Okay, so the output will be a one, a two, a three, and a zero. Is that right? Let's check this thing. If I have um, uh, A3, A2, A1, and A0, and let's do what? Let's rotate to the right just one bit. 
Oh yeah, this A comes over here all the way, so I'll get A0, A3, A2, and A1, which is exactly what I'm getting right here. Okay, good. So now, so now let's uh, uh, continue uh, what we were doing and, and say, let's. Uh, uh, what happen if uh, if 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 K uh, if K equals um, uh, uh, if K equals if K equals if K equals uh, two? Okay, so K equals two. It means that I will move two positions away from the beginning of 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 uh, of uh, the 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 start of the z bits and then select here four bits and and you can see here this is this is will will correspond to uh, 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 a a2 a3 a0 and a1 beautiful and let's say k equals 3 and k we know that it is the amount of rotation or shifting that i'm doing and uh, if k equals 3 so then now i'm have to move away by three uh, bit positions okay okay so let's uh, select uh, this uh, this color here and and, and, and I'm gonna choose uh, I'm gonna choose uh, uh, all the way from here and that is um, and that is a3 and a0 a1 and uh, a2 okay let's check this thing if, if this is so if, if my data if my data let's uh, let's let's do a erase here a little bit and, uh, uh, and, and if my data is if my data is a3 um, a3 a2 a1 a0 and I want to do a rotate right rotate uh, by three bits so right rotate by three bits it means uh, oh, sorry, whoops whoops uh, right rotate this direction Okay, this direction. Uh, it means that the A uh, 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 the A3 will come all the way here. Okay, the A2 will 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 move one, two, three position. The A1 will move one, two, three position. Uh, the A0 will go one, two, three position. Okay, and this is exactly what I got from hardware. Okay. So now let's recap what we have done here. In the in the in the uh, uh, funnel shifter, I create the Z layer here, where the, the intermediate uh, data uh, of two of two n minus one bits, and from it I will select a window of n bits. The, this window will slide will slide back and forth based on the value of the k. Okay. Let's see the, the for for instance. Let's see um, uh, 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 lift operation. The lift operation, which is which is uh, uh, let's say for example, take logical lift and and see how this this being done. Okay, let's let's do erase here. Okay and okay so. Just to clean up the, the whiteboard a bit, and then I'll uh, continue from there. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Whoops. Let's see here. <coughs> me. Okay. okay. So this is these are the seven bits of the Z. And now, how do how do I create this the Z play for logical lift? And he's telling me here from. Uh, uh, Z n minus two to zero zero so one two three and then a zero a zero and then a uh, n minus one to a one so this is a three a two a one okay now so suppose I need to do a left operation of uh, uh, so let's uh, let's uh, uh, erase this here right over here okay so that so suppose I need to do a left, a left uh, shift. Okay. So uh, here we go. Okay. Suppose I need to do a left op uh, operation. So this in this direction. Okay. Of one, just one bit. So I know that uh, this a zero comes in here. A one, a two, right? And 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 there is a zero here. Um, okay. All right. Now, 
so in this case case k, k equals one it's it's a shift left of k equals one zero one now notice notice here we are building a hardware disk that does only uh, one direction of rotation so i'm going to use the same hardware to do left operation so now he says uh, with this don't use the same k use k prime okay so for k prime means what k prime means what let's say k prime equals one zero so it means that i will select a window away from the beginning of the z i2 so I'm going to select this window here, all the way up to here. And let's see what I, what I have here, zero. What I have here, a, uh, uh, zero. What I have here, a one. And what I have here, a two. Okay, which is exactly what I predicted earlier. Okay. Now, let's do a shift by three, for instance. Uh, instead of zero one here, instead of zero one, Let's do uh, uh, three. Okay, so let's do k by three. So we'll we'll scratch this out and 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 then well, so we're gonna shift by three and therefore I'm gonna have a zero 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 a zero. Now uh, 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 and, and 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 the k prime will be what zero zero, which means I will select from the intermediate layer the very first four without any shifting so that gives me here zero 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 a zero which exactly what I predicted uh, with the, my, 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 my operations here okay so notice here the amount of shifting that happens here the amount of shifting corresponds to inverting the k bits okay so this this offset here is how much I'm shifting the window from the beginning of the uh, uh, the, 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 the the Z the Z uh, uh, the Z intermediate layer, okay? All right. Okay, so so we go back to our to our uh, uh, lecture here, and 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 basically what we what we have here is that uh, you can continue uh, uh, testing all the other options. I showed you one for the right operation, and one for the left operation. Now, what we have here is that we will take the funnel shifter here. We're going to assume that we have uh, uh, the, 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 the disease are prepared for us. Then the question is how to uh, choose the, 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 the layer uh, uh, or the output. You see, from the output here, this is the Z layer. Somehow we shifted the window back and forth. Right, and to select the output, which is y, okay, which is which is in bit here. Well, how do I do that? Well, this is basically uh, uh, you have to use multiplexers. Uh, so, so again, uh, uh, let's let's see, let's see if uh, if I'm good at this. So let's uh, um, um, see if I do an eraser here. So basically, if we have this is this is the intermediate layer, uh, 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 which is which is right here. Okay, so this is the intermediate layer, okay, and this is bit zero of the Z, bit one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then this is the Y, okay, how uh, the, the very first bit of the Y, okay, so this is Y zero, so Y zero will choose either bit zero, bit one, bit two, oops, uh, and get rid of this. Uh, okay. Uh, or bit two, or bit three. That's why zero. Now the second bit. Uh, let's uh, just choose another color here. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, y. Bit y one. We'll choose either bit one or bit two or bit three or bit four okay and and then uh, why uh, uh, the second bit of y, the third bit of y sorry so let's use this uh, which is which is this one here y two uh, it will be either the, the two or three or four or five and um, and uh, let's see this the the final bit of y which is y3 it will choose either uh, 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 3 or 4 or 5 or 6
okay multiplexer what i just draw here is what is he is using here except to implement any multiplexer let's say for example y0 how how does he implement y0 he's using pass transistors pass transistors so this is this is y0 right here right and this is the very first pass transistor second second pass transistor third pass transistor and fourth pass transistor and he has here uh, z0 z1 z2 and z3 recall these are these are these are my inputs now the multiplexer he's using select line and so so here's this is this is here s0 s1 s2 and s3 that's exactly what you have here see here this is y0 similarly you can do y1 the same multiplexers uh, 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 selection don't change but except the z's will change instead of going from 0 z1 z2 z3 z4 we will start from z1 z2 z3 z4 okay and similarly y2 we will go from z2 z3 z4 z5 and similarly y3 we will go from uh, z3 uh, uh, z4 z5 z6 okay and this is this is the way he implements this multiplexer. And since I have one level of multiplexing, that's why I call it array multiplexer. If you have one level of multiplexer, you call it array multiplexer. This is opposite to what? Opposite to funnel, uh, I'm sorry, uh, logarithmic uh, 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 implementation, where the multiplexer is implemented in two layers. See here, for example, forget about this the, 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 this this exclusive or for now. I'm gonna assume this is this is uh, this is this is uh, uh, let's see uh, this is k zero here. Oh, uh, this is k zero and uh, uh, sorry k one and k zero. You see k, which is the number of shifted bits, consists of two bits, k1 and k0. The, the, the weight of k0 is 2 to the 0. The weight of k1 is 2 to the 1. So here I, I move things or bits by one position. Here I move bits by two positions. So what do I do? I, I First of all, I change or I move bits by two positions based on k here. Then I move bits by one position based on k here so right now look at look at what what i what i do here so here i'm i'm choosing between z0 or 2 z1 or 3 z2 or 4 z3 or 5 z4 or z6 i'm choosing between every bit and the uh, uh, the, the bit which is uh, away from it by two positions why because the weight of the k here is 2 to the 1 K1, 2 to 1, meet it two positions. So first I move bits by two positions. Then I move the bits. So the, uh, then I, I, I number the output high by 0, 1, 2, 3. Then I move by one position based on K0. So 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? Okay. Now, what is this left here operation and, and all this? Well, this, what is this doing is just inverting the K bits in the, in the the left operation okay let's assume for example let's check this hardware suppose for example i need to uh, uh shift uh, the 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 the, the, the uh, by 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 oops oh i i did a mistake here okay uh let's suppose now uh, k equals for instance one one which means I need to select from huh, a three-bit uh, uh, position. So, so, so I, I need I need this. Remember, I, I I want to to select this window, okay? To select this window of the Z and send it to the output. So let's see what happens here with this hardware. Okay. So um, uh, let's see if I use a different pen here. So here uh, you can you can uh, uh, see. That uh, let's see, uh, one, two, three. Okay, so this is okay. 
So this one here will choose uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the Z2. This one will choose the Z3. This one will choose the Z4. This one will choose the Z5 uh, and the Z6. Why? Because K here 1 will be 1. Now let's go to the next multiplexer here. Uh, this K0 is also 1 because I'm, I'm choosing K equal 1, 1. So this will choose here uh, the Z uh, out of these two, the Z3, the Z4, the Z5, and the Z6, which is exactly what I want here. Okay. Now, if you do a left operation, we have to invert. And the way to invert these uh, the K bits is, is to send the Ks into a left signal. This left signal equals 1 whenever I have left operation and 0 whenever I have a right operation. So when in the right operation, the Ks, they go through the exclusive or unchanged. In the left operation, the K will be inverted for the left operation so that we can uh, invert the Ks as we have seen in the table. Okay? Okay, this is now the barrel shifter, which is a, a, a opposite... Or, or, or as opposed to the funnel shifter. The barrel shifter does not have any preparation step. But rather, the barrel shifter, what it does, it manipulates wiring of the, 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 uh, the, the wires so that we can implement things in one shot. Uh, we don't need to, to have preparation step. This is right rotate. I don't like the word shift. It is implementing right rotate operation. And so you can see that here, is, is using uh, uh, the uh, logarithmic uh, 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 shifter uh, and, and the barrel shifter you can see in the very first layer A0 and uh, choosing between A0 and A2 and then A1 and A3. Now watch A2 and ah and he, he went made around uh, made a trip around uh, around the the shifter and and picked up a zero okay and picked up a zero and here a three and a one okay so you can see how the the this round trip to make to get the wires okay, you can see it here in the a zero and the a one that's that's why it's called barrel it's like a barrel okay it's like a, a, a barrel so, and, and this for K0, we chose, so this is output 0, 1, 2, 3, between 0 and 1, 2, 1, and 2, 2, and 3, 3, and, oh, no, look at here, uh, so, so he went uh, uh, and, and, and got this 0 around and fit it here, and this is 0. Okay. Okay, that's why uh, it's called barrel shifter. And you can test this operation. Uh, so, so, for example, suppose I have A0, A3, A2, and A1, and A0. And suppose I need to do a, a, a rotate of K equal 2. Okay? So, basically, uh, this, is the, uh, this is to the right. Okay? So, now I have what? I have A3, A2 and A0 and A1. That's supposed to be the output. So let's trace this and see if we can get this thing. So um, so this is K1 bit and this is K0. So K1 equals 1 and K0 equals 0. Now you can see I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick what? I'm going to pick A2 here for the output. I'm going to pick here A3. I'm going to pick A1. Uh, uh, and I am, uh, no, just a second here, uh, I'm going to pick uh, a, 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 a zero, sorry, here, okay, because it, it's going to come like so. And I'm going to pick here a one, okay? Now, for k zero, I will choose a two, a three, a zero, and a one, okay, which is exactly what I predicted right here, okay? Which is what I predicted right here. Now, I can, I can do the left operation, but remember, we said the left, you have to invert the case through this, the, this, this kind of uh, uh, hardware where you use a left signal. This left signal equals 1 when you have left operations, and it is equal 0 when you have right operations, so that the exclusive OR will invert the k bits only 
in left operations. Now, what is this pre-shift? The pre-shift, what it does is it adds the plus one. Remember, when we say that we need minus k, and the way we implement minus k is that we invert the k's and then we add one. This add one is the pre-shift right here. We shift by one position so that when we invert the k's, in the case of left operation, and we add the one, and this will be uh, uh, only for left operation, I implement the negative of the k. Okay, so the question is, why didn't I do this for the funnel shifter? Uh, the funnel shifter, it, it, it incorporated this plus one in its Z layer. Okay, all right, so, so you can, you can you know, so you, we do the pre-shift here only in the left operations, and then we invert the case only in the left operations, and we use the same hardware as here. Now, you can get much more sophisticated in shifters here where we can implement arithmetic and logical and multi-layer and all that. Then, you, then your hardware here becomes a bit sophisticated. And this basically does left and right and shift and rotate operations. And, and it has to figure out those bits that come in, in here. And, 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 and the, the computation becomes more involved and more complex. Okay. And finally, logarithmic uh, shifters can be uh, multi-layer, not just two or three or four layers. And in every layer, you can you can uh, basically decode multiple bits of the k's, and the k here becomes becomes not just two bits, maybe five or six bits. So you can process multi bits of for the k's. So it becomes a bit uh, more complicated for uh, advanced uh, uh, designs. Okay, uh, with that, uh, we conclude the section of uh, a, a barrel and funnel shifter using array and logarithmic implementations, and thank you very much.